Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. In this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Rising Sun Daimyo box, which was a Kickstarter exclusive box with all kinds of stretch goals from the Kickstarter, along with two expansion boxes, the Kami Unbound and the Monster Pack. So let's open up the boxes and see what's inside. So this is the uh, Rising Sun Kami Unbound expansion, which has miniatures four monsters that you will find in the base game. We've seen, if you've seen the unboxing of the base game, we've seen these guys as uh, big tokens in the main game, and here they are represented as actual miniatures. So, let's open up the box. Okay, so, the Kami. I think Kami are gods? Not sure. <laughs> But, uh, so we, yeah, we, we've got these cards and, and the miniatures for them. There's a little explanation in this uh, leaflet about using them. So that's uh, that. And then we have these cards that go with them, a small pack of cards. So I suppose one for each. Uh, let me just see if I can carefully open that. So, they all have nice artwork on the backs. So, if you're painting these, this will be a fantastic reference for them. So that's pretty cool. And on the other side, that's their name and an explanation what they do. So, there we go. All of them here. I'm loving this one. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have got more cards here. More of these seasonal cards that are also in the base game. So I suppose this adds more gameplay to the base game. So we've got more. We've got autumn, uh, summer, and spring, just as in the base game. Winter is not coming for Rising Sun. So we've got Piety, Path of the Builder, Path of the Kanushi. Oh, plenty of different ones. Oni of Blood. And a Tanuki. Tanuki Mario. And some Onis as well. So we've got all those cards and they have a nice dedicated slot for them in this insert. So easy to put them back. So we got these... Uh, uh, minis in here and they put another lid over them so I'm gonna have to see if I can see check the there we go there's some uh, tape over there is it uh, yes there we go all right so let's start over here so we have this Kami and Again, lots of detail. He's like floating in the air, and they use his billowing cape to keep him afloat. So that's pretty cool. A very uh, stern looking Kami with his sword and, and a bow. So that's this guy. Here's the lady with the, uh, the sun ornament on her back, and she's holding her sword. And what seems to be a snake in her hand. Is that a snake? Let me see. Let me check the art real quick. So that's this girl. Yep, it does kind of look like that. So that's pretty cool. I, I really like that, that sun ornament. It's pretty cool. Very nice costumes. Here's the guy with the, well, the other ornament. <laughs> Is it the moon, perhaps? And he's got this, uh, well, I'm just going to call that a batlath <laughs> in his hand. This big billowing cape with the big shoulder pads. Dude from the 80s. He's got this thing on his back, the hair hanging back there. Kind of looks like a Klingon, too. I mean, <laughs> pretty cool. Here's... 
ain't Kami with some flames on his back, fiery trident. And there are some tentacles coming out from underneath his robes. I wonder what's going on over there. Look at that. He's got a snake-like tail as well. Hmm. Interesting. So that's that one. Here's this jumping, dancing fellow with the radical mustache. I hope you can see that, because that's brilliant. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the camera to zoom in on that better. See that? Now that is a cool mustache. There he goes, running towards you. And then we have this guy, We're very festive looking. He's got drums, four drums hanging on his back. He's got these uh, sticks in his hand, these drumsticks, banging them, dancing. He looks very jolly. So that's, that's cool. And then finally, the last one. This is pretty nice. I don't know what he's doing. He's maybe he's, he's conjuring wind or something. Because everything on this guy is billowing in the wind. His hair, his cape, his robes. He's, it's like he's got this, this big, uh, like, rolled up carpet. <laughs> and he's just flinging that around his body. And there's... Supposedly, I mean, it looks like he's blowing wind out of there or something. That's pretty cool. The billowing dude. <laughs> All right, so that's seven kami in this box. Let's go to the next one. Here's the next pack, which is the monster pack for Rising Sun, which has miniatures for several monsters. As you can see here, so we've got the Jin Menju, a tree with creepy heads in it. <laughs> we've got a fire dragon. We've got the Oni of Plagues and the Joro Gumu, Gumo, spider-like demon lady. All right. So let's open up the box and have a look at those figures. Okay. So. We've got the rules for them, which is just one single leaflet with all, all these monsters explained with their fantastic illustrations. Should you want to paint them, you can have these as a reference. And they certainly look very impressive. Okay, so there's a Ziploc bag with cards to go with them with their seasons. So it's again, autumn, summer, and two for spring. We've got the Jin Menju card, the Jorogumo card, the Fire Dragon, and the Oni of Plagues. Okay, so that's those. We've got uh, another lid covering up this uh, insert. So let me see where did they hide the tape. All right. There are no expenses on the tape. So inside we find five of these colorful bases to clip onto these monsters. So look at that, that is just amazing. That's the tree that has human heads or demon heads perhaps as its, well, branches with the hair being the, the leaves very, very creepy looking tree of death. So, not something you would want in your backyard. <laughs> so, there we go, that's that one. Uh, okay, I'm putting it back the right way, yep, I like that. This one is very cool as well. That's a spider lady. She's got a clear, translucent. Uh, pole hair holding her up, so that's nice, because that's a big model with some very thin legs. She's got her stinger at the back here, pretty sharp. 
and these creepy spider legs. And there's plenty of stuff going on here as well. So here are these pincers. These mandibles have a little face. And there's two more of these legs over here. Uh, in between all these robes, there's a couple of hands there, but she also has hands over there holding the fan, and the other hand holding this cute little parasol. Because even spider demons need to go in fashion. And there's all these creepy human heads hanging from the abdomen. You know, always pack your lunch. So that's this spider demon. That is incredibly creepy. All right, so how did that go in? <laughs> like that. Okay. Here's a very big one. This is this, this Oni. Oni of plagues, if I remember correctly. Really, really big, giant dude, just like the other Oni from the base game. Really tall, this one has this really, really huge bladed staff and a big old sword. Actually, he's got two, three swords. He's got four arms, three of them holding swords. And he's got these hooves for feet. He's got big billowing robes as well. Long hair. And there's not a lot of detail going on on the robes here, but there certainly is a lot of detail on these swords and then these blades and on the front. He's even got these, well, maybe they're just tattoos, but they're like grafted onto his skin, at least in the model. So that is a very, very detailed and big, nice looking Oni as well. And finally, we have this fire dragon who also has a dragon ball just like the dragon in the base game so you've got two dragons in all look at that look at that face just look at that that is amazing big old dragon look at all the detail on the skin and the scales big tail here with these lashes So that's looking pretty cool. Really digging these sculpts. So the dragon. So that's the four uh, monsters. Let's head on to the Rising Sun Daimyo box. All right, and now for the main attraction, the Rising Sun Daimyo box. So this is all the stretch goals from the Kickstarter. So this is a Kickstarter exclusive box and it has lots of cool extra miniatures in there. Even this big Godzilla like Kaiju, another dragon and some, some other monsters and even an extra clan. So that's the Fox clan. So you got a sixth clan, which is very nice. Okay, so let's open it up. And let's just Take a second and look at this cool artwork. I mean, that is so cool. Looks like, you know, a modernized version of ancient uh, Eastern artwork. Just a lot of stuff going on there. Very nice. All right, so what's inside? Obviously, we get another uh, player screen, just like the five we got in the base game for the new sixth Fox Clan. Double-sided, and here it is in orange, lovely color. So we've got an orange fox clan. You know what, I'm just gonna put these minis aside for now and just check what else we got in here first. So we got lots of uh, colored bases, so uh, orange big ones for the monsters that you could recruit being the fox clan and all of these other colors too. Uh, more colors for the different clans. So we've got, we've got those, and we've got another a political mandate style, which is new. 
and war advantages on this side. That we we've seen that. I'm not sure if I've seen this. Maybe we have. But in any case, it's probably an extra one for the extra Foxland player. So we've got some more cards here belonging with the miniatures that we get. So let's just see if I can open that up real quick. These shrink wrapped packages are always a bit tougher to open because you have to be careful not to damage the cards. So there we go. More autumn, summer and spring cards. So we've got a Phoenix. We've got a Kotahi. Kind of looks like the Monkey King. I'm not sure. Then we've got an Earth Dragon, so along with the Fire Dragon from the expansion we just saw and the Dragon in the base game. That's three. The Sunakake Baba. So Baba being a kind of a witch. A Koniko. So that's a cat person. Uh, Jiki Niniki, no, Jiki Ninki. <laughs> a creepy looking woman, demon. The Nuri Ona, snake like demon. Snake with a human head. And a Kitsune, the fox. And we've got the Dai Kaiju. Big Godzilla monster. We've got a sacred warrior. Look, it's Lopan. It's Lopan. So cool. And that brings us back to the Phoenix. All right. So what else do we have? We have some very, very cool uh, plastic tile. Well, this is very hard. Like, uh, well, what you call it? Uh, I forget the name of the game. But these plastic tiles for all these, um, well, things you can do. You can betray, you can marshal, you can harvest, recruit, and train. So that is so cool. Instead of the uh, cardboard uh, versions, which I thought were good enough from the base game because they were pretty thick, now you can play with these, and that just, wow. That is just very nice, very nice tactile feeling to them. <laughs> I mean, I love that. All right, so we've got 10 of those, because five more in this Ziploc bag. That's just amazing. And they're the same five, but two of each then. Very nice, very cool. So that was a pretty nice stretch goal, but there's more, there's more. And let me just see if there's more tape here. Yes, there is. So. Let me just carefully try to get that out. This is always a bit of a challenge. <laughs> there we go. All right, I think that's it. Let me just put the box aside, take off this lid. And first of all, we have these. There were five in the base game, and obviously there is an extra one now with the uh, sixth Fox Clan. And instead of cardboard tokens, you now have these actual thick plastic uh, yin-yang pieces uh, for the, I think that something about the tea ceremony, but that's so cool. One for each clan, see, you can see the, the kitsune, the fox, and the turtle uh, logos on there, and they all have that one, the koi and the dragonfly, the lotus, and what was that one again? I forget. <laughs> Yeah, what that was but so one of those for each kind that is very nice this is really pimping out your game right there and we have these plastic flags these banners uh, numbered one through eight in here as well and they have bases as well so you could stick those in there and then put them on the board so that's that. And finally, we have these awesome little pagodas. So that is just amazing. I mean, look at that. You can build your castle, and they're all just tiny castles, but you can just put them on top of each other, building your tower higher and higher. So there's four of each, 
that stack in the five colors and the turtle clan being the only one who has special fortresses with an actual turtle. I mean, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Four of those. I know how I'm going to name those. Maybe I'll paint them little uh, bandanas over their eyes in four different colors. <laughs> then we've got these that were also uh, punch board tokens in the base game. They are now double-sided plastic uh, tokens. So that's pretty cool as well. And you've got your points trackers for the Fox Clan in orange over there. So that is really a cool thing to have to pimp out your game. So let's put that to the side and take a look at the miniatures. Oh boy. I was afraid that was going to happen. <laughs> no worries. There. All right. So... I'll just start with the uh, Fox Clan here. So we've got these guys, these warriors, with a spear, cool armor. They have these, these cool hats, these classic Asian hats. So there's, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna toss these out for now <laughs> and then figure out where they went later. So this, this goes here. So this guy probably goes here and then, yes, there you do. So we got three of those. Am I right though? Yes. Okay. Then we've got their leader was over there, I think. Unless, oh well. So we got these guys. Uh, a very imposing looking fellow with lots of fur and a big cowbell hanging from his staff. You gotta have more cowbell and more furs on the back. Look at that. Very cool. So there's three of these guys in here as well. And another warrior here with the hat and the sword and the armor. This fur uh, cape. So three of those, and their leader, who is wielding this big staff, this bladed staff. This is going to need a little bit of hot water treatment. And he's got this ornament on his shoulders as well, a couple of human heads, and a sword, and nice armor and you know, billowing capes here, big capes. They really like big capes in this, in this game. So that's those. Let's see, that probably went over there then, yes. Okay, then we've got plenty of these little guys here. So here's Kitsune, the fox man, his tail peeping out from under his robes, with a walking cane and a backpack. That's really nice. So that's him. And there's the Baba, very nice looking witch with a broomstick, long hair, really, really, really long hair. <laughs> so stay focused, stay focused. All right. So that's the Baba. Uh, let me see, that fits over there. Here is the the cat lady. That looks very nice as well. Very slender a lady there with a cat's tail and a cat's ears. Holding a club. So that's that figure. Mm, here then, yes. And finally this Creepy, creepy looking ghost like creature with the big, scary grin, long hair. Okay, so that's four of these smaller dudes. 
Oh, here's another one I missed. Yes, this guy that reminded me of the Monkey King. <laughs> sitting on his robes, it seems. He's actually sitting on something, though. He's, he's sitting on a stick. You see, his stick is on the ground. And he actually climbed onto his, his cane and is balancing it. That's pretty cool. Some of these poses are very creative. I really like that. There's a, that guy, and of course, the panda bear dude. Look at that. Isn't that cute? An armored panda bear with a big club. There's a little vest on there. So, yep, that's low pan. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we got the Phoenix over here. Phoenix miniature, a rather large one with the flaming feathers. Very nice looking, lots and lots of detail. Look at that. All right. Here's that snake lady. Snake with the, the human head all curled up. Lots of detail on the scales. All right. And then we've got the big Godzilla Kaiju. Wow, very nice. Also a lot of detail on the scales and here on the ridges on his back, the spikes. This is a very, very nice miniature, very cool. There is a bit of a gap here though, because this was placed on separately, I guess. It's the same as with his tail. So, you know, that might need some filling up just a little bit. But otherwise, this is a very cool and big, hefty miniature. And then finally, the dragon. So, this is cool. This dragon does not have one of those balls that it's uh, crouching on, but it does have one of those, um, those lions we saw. See, there's that there's the lion over there. He's just got his claw in his face. Got a couple of claw marks beneath there. So, ripping that guy's face off. He's got snakes crawling around him. At least four. So that's pretty creepy as well. Spikes on his back. Very, very long and winding tail. And a, a bit of a creepy head and a big gap here though so there is something that's gonna need a little bit of filling as well but that is an awesome looking very scary looking dragon i like the base with the stairs here i really enjoy that it's it's just a lot of stuff that you can pick out while painting and of course it's large as well so that's the last one of those. Let's see if there's something underneath here because there is some room. But there is nothing there. So I guess that was just for making this insert a bit more sturdy. So let's just put that back. And that is everything from the Daimyo box. And that was the unboxing of the Rising Sun Daimyo Box plus two expansions by Cool Mini or Not. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.